Here's how to make a nice little embossed metal box. You'll need a tall aluminium drink can. An unopened one is best because the first step is to remove all the paint from the outside with abrasive paper and steel wool. It's hard to do this if the can's empty because the sides just cave in. Once you've got the outside nearly clean, rinse off the dust and pour out the drink. Next, using a sharp pair of pointed scissors, cut off the top of the can. As you can see, the edges of the metal can get really sharp and jagged, so mind your fingers. Cut straight down the side of the can, then cut around the bottom to remove it. This should leave you with a more or less rectangular sheet of thin metal. Trim the jagged edges off the metal, but try to remove as little material as possible. Then tape it down flat, scrubbed side up, to a thick piece of solid card or the cork back of a table mat. Now you'll need a stout ballpoint pen to mark the outline of the box. Mark out a 2 inch square in the middle of the metal and extend the lines right off the edge. This square will be the top of the box. Now mark another square that's an inch bigger all around. This encloses the four sides and another line about a quarter inch outside that marks the edge of some tabs we'll fold in later. Let's take a closer look at that again. We've got the central square, the four sides, the four tabs on the edge of that and then four corners. I'll show you what to do with them later. Now it's time to start embossing a pattern on the box. I went for a combination of squares and curls, but you can do anything you like, even lettering. But remember, if you do lettering, you're working from the inside surface, so you have to write it backwards. Next, mark out some patterns on the four sides. Press hard enough to make good impressions on the metal, but not so hard that you tear it. Let's just have another look at that technique. Press firmly but evenly with the pen to emboss the pattern on the metal. When you've finished the design, remove the tape and turn the metal over. The next bit is laborious but necessary. You'll need to impress a line around the insides and outsides of all the embossed shapes you've made with the pen. Let's have a look at that. So we're tracing the inside and outside edges of all of the shapes. Once you've outlined the shapes, flip the metal back over again. Retrace the original pattern again. These steps are a lot of work, but impressing, outlining and re-impressing the pattern like this will make it stand out in much sharper relief. Now cut the box out of the sheet. Take care not to cut the wrong bits off here. Let's have another look at the shape that you're cutting out. OK, let's have a look at what we've got. There's the central square of the lid surrounded by the four sides, and each side has a tab. There's a square piece in the corner also. Now turn the metal right side up and score diagonal lines into the corner pieces so that they fold inside the box. Now it's time to assemble. Push the corners in as you fold up the sides along the scored lines. Fold the corner pieces flat against the inside edge of the box in pairs. Then secure them in place by folding over the edge tab. Finally fold over the other two edge tabs inside the box and it's finished. It's easy to make another box three and a half inches square on top and then the first box will fit over it like a lid. The lower section can then be lined with felt or fabric glued into place. So there it is, an aluminium drink can upcycled into a beautiful little metal box. Check out AtomicShrimp.com for more interesting ideas and projects.